Let's get started with today's Monday morning message. Today I want to be speaking about what is the highest form of inquiry? What is the highest form of inquiry? Is it algebra? Some people who are into physics they say physics physics is the highest form of inquiry. You get to know the secrets of the universe, the laws of nature through physics. Some people say it's biology, the highest form of inquiry. Some people say Mm, all that is okay but sociology ta- studying society that's what really impacts us as human beings sociology is the highest form of inquiry some people say mathematics algebra is the highest form of inquiry because math explains everything it explains the complex way the universe works in formulas and in numbers and math is universal what do you think is the highest form of inquiry what is the highest form of inquiry the best area to ask questions in in life what is the best area to ask questions in life the highest form of inquiry what is it well folks i thought a lot about this and throughout my life i've been thinking about what subject to study what is the highest form of inquiry where to put our attention to where to put our focus to because the questions you ask determine the quality of your life so which area to ask questions in because that area needs a lot of focus and that would give us the maximum impact because what really changes answers is great questions so what area to ask questions in what is the highest form of inquiry and folks i know i'm confusing you a little bit but this is the answer that i have settled with right now the highest form of inquiry is self inquiry Sir, you got it absolutely right. The highest form of inquiry is self-inquiry. You see, in the modern world, we've mastered, we've gotten deeper into things that we've never known before. We've gotten into the depth of the oceans. We know exactly how an atom is functioning in different parts with a nucleus, with an electron, with a proton. we've gotten to the depths and depths of things yet can we say we are living a better quality of life internally yes externally we're definitely living a better quality of life we got our phones we got our smartphones we got a nice um setup our food and survival is taken care of but are we actually internally more fulfilled because ultimately we've seen around the world that's what matters at the end of the day you can have all external comforts conveniences you can have great success externally but if you're not internally fulfilled you will still not feel fulfilled as a human being living a human life so the highest form of inquiry hence becomes self inquiry the people who've created biggest impacts whether it's sports whether it's business whether it's politics and you hear their stories and you realize wow it was actually a moment of self inquiry it was a moment of looking within the self that transformed them into who they are right now it was mahatma gandhi being pushed out of a train in south africa but when he fell down it's not that externally something changed and this happened to many people who were of that skin color but when he fell down that triggered a moment of self inquiry okay is this what i want to be doing is this the way i'm serving and then there was a shift self inquiry is the highest form of inquiry because it creates results it creates fulfillment it creates the biggest moves it fulfills you it fuels you to do whatever you want and i don't think we do that enough i don't think that we do that enough and hence the highest form of inquiry is self inquiry So folks this week let's focus on self inquiry how can we do that take a journal and write down what are the biggest questions you are pondering in yourself there's a reason why people go through life through 30 years and realize they're in the wrong career because they never engaged in self inquiry they've engaged in inquiry of what the market wants they know exactly what the market demands is they've inquired everything about outside and they're perfect at it but in the end of the life they're unfulfilled because they never inquired themselves within themselves 
The highest form of inquiry is self-inquiry. This week, engage in some self-inquiry. Maybe write down questions. What are the three most important questions that you're pondering with in life? What career you want to choose? What kind of health do you want to have? What kind of relationship you want to have? And when you ask within yourself, when you start questioning, that's when answers start popping out. And those are the answers that will lead you to a fulfilled life. Because you inquire within yourself. Rather than asking others, what kind of a partner should I have? What kind of a career should I have? Ask within yourself also. Because that's the highest form of inquiry. Folks, that is it from my side today. But I have a special, special guest. He's a dear friend of mine. He's one of my favorite rappers ever. I listen to a lot of hip hop music and he's one of my favorite rappers. But he's a rapper with a difference. I'm trying to figure out how to make a living. Doing what I love, what it takes to get it. When you got a baby, yeah, it takes a village. Maybe that's where I fucked up. They say I'm finished. Mama, you know your boy stays out of drama. Had to pause all that comma before I comment get open. I'ma post up now, nah, I'ma get so high that I won't touch down. 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 Modest, what do you think about self-inquiry on and what we just spoke about? Yo, first of all, yo, Narain, uh how you just broke that down was beautiful, man, because uh it touched on a lot of what I've gone through in the past eight years of self inquiring. And it didn't start out like that for me. You know, in the in the black community we have a saying called knowledge itself. And it's basically the same thing where it's just like the better you know yourself, the better you're gonna be able to perform in the world. You know, and there's there's one part you just touched on where you just said, you know, uh, somebody will be in a career for 30 years and realize that's not the thing that they're actually supposed to be doing. And that touched me right there because it wasn't until I turned 35 and um, I realized that maybe I'd spent the past 20 years doing the wrong thing. But this came as a culmination of that constant self-reflection, constantly looking within myself constantly trying to figure out what comes natural what makes me tick what do i need to you know stay conscious of and work on that's amazing maris thank you so much for sharing that it's really impactful when you speak from experience and you relate your experience to what we just discussed that's amazing brother i you're one of my favorite rappers to be honest, um, and because you're a conscious rapper, you know, your lyrics mean something. They hit me in a different way. Um, and I know what you do is really out of your heart. So the theme being self-inquiry, I know you got some bars for, for us. I know you got some rap material for us. I, got and I really want to listen to it. I, it, ain't, it ain't much. You know, I ain't going to keep you out. But, you know, it, it's funny because uh, ever since I started looking within myself for every single answer, it's done nothing but spill over into my music because my music is always a reflection of myself and where I am in life. And for the past eight years, it's been nothing but me trying to figure out that and then translate that in a way uh, that's somewhat profound or enlightening or entertaining at the same time, so enjoyable to the listener. You know, you know, that's the beautiful part about hip hop is uh, you're trying to paint a picture, you know, and to to do that with how you're feeling and uh, what's going on in your mind, what's going on in your heart. You know, it's 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 been fun to watch my transition from how I used to rap to how I rap now. This is something I wrote recently, haven't recorded it yet, but it's something that, 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 that represents exactly what we're talking about. I said, in the heat of the moment, we seek an atonement, making sure that breath of fire that we breathe in is potent. It's only me when I'm thinking about beating opponents, free myself from limitations because that freedom is golden. We fasten forward Aki, Cause time's up, we stretch the clock like Salvador Dali. Got half of yours probably, these matters more rocky. Been lying to myself, time to stop the bullshit. Be a matador, copy. You know, so like yeah. those, those, first few, those first few bars right there where it was like, in the heat of the moment, 
we seek an atonement, you know, like in, in that moment where you realize what's going on, you try to make that change. In the heat of the moment, we seek an atonement, making sure that breath of fire that we breathe in is potent, making sure when I speak, making sure when I act, making sure that my behavior is, is representative of something intense because that's, that's, that's life, you know what I'm saying? In the heat of the moment, we seek an atonement, making sure that breath of fire that we breathe in is potent. It's only me when I'm thinking about beating opponents. You know, it's that that Ooh, that, that you're the biggest that opponent you have got, it's man. Exactly. Me. It's only me when I'm thinking about beating opponents. Free myself from limitations because that freedom is golden. It's I mean, nice. it's, it's 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 crazy. Like I don't look at people or situations or anything. I I just look at myself. Like what limitations are stopping me from doing whatever it is? Because don't get me wrong, I know that I live a very privileged life and I know that I have many opportunities, but I'd like to think with the same mindset that anybody can win. And it, not, even, not even necessarily a mindset because the process of self-inquiry is kind of getting out of your mind. It's looking at your mind. It's realizing you're not your mind. I really and truly do appreciate you having me, Noreen. Long time no see, man. I'm glad we kept in contact. I'm glad to see you doing your thing too, man. Like it's an, it's it's really inspiring to watch because you're doing it correctly. You know. Thank you, sir. Yo, keep spreading that good message for real, man. And people need to hear it. Thank you, bro. Keep sending me your new songs. You already know. Because I wait know. for them all the time. <laughs> you already know. You already know. <laughs> Just thanks for joining us all the way from Connecticut, Hartford. Guys, that was Modest Music, the conscious rapper, one of my favorite out in the world. Thanks, cheers, good night to you, brother. Thanks right, for adding yo. so much value to our message today. Yo, yo, namaskaram, homie. Namaskaram. Yeah, all right, yo. <laughs> that was a solid Monday morning message right there. The highest form of inquiry is self-inquiry because ultimately everything changes, dramatically changes, makes you fulfilled only when you engage in self-inquiry enough and great that we inquire about everything outside, but all it does is change just what's within our mind, the content of our mind. But self-inquiry can change the content of our life, can change here, here, everywhere, everything about our life. So guys, let's get to the highest form of inquiry, the self-inquiry. Modest Music, thank you so much for coming and adding so much value to this. Folks, I will see you next week, Monday morning. Timings might be shifting a little bit. I will keep you updated. But cheers, much love to you all. Have a great week of self-inquiry. I'm always happy to be here live Monday 9 a.m. India time with you guys sharing a new message. And I can't wait to continue that.